Hello, peeps. Welcome to another video. That was supposed to come out a few days ago. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Even you might be thinking, uh, this drawing, a time lapse. Nope, I'm actually gonna do something else. While this video is playing, I just gotta talk about some random stuff. Channel related and non channel related. Because <laughs> I felt like it. They felt like talking about a specific topic, so I just chose any random topic I think about. So, first of all, Saturday, which that was supposed to be by the time I posted my video, I wanted to take a little break from doing my comic. Because I actually drew a lot of pages and uh, I just wanted to take a break. So I went out to literally have a stroll in the area. It was actually pretty relaxing actually. Bought some ice cream, just walked around, listening to a soundtrack. Like, some of the soundtracks you actually listen to. I like put it on my info headphones and just walk around imagining some random stuff in my brain. It was actually pretty eventful because what happened was I was on the bus playing Undertale. Uh, I was recording for part three, the parts that weren't there. And uh, what happened was someone got off the bus, the, the bus stopped. And what you're normally supposed to do is get off the bus quickly so the door doesn't close and they, they, they ditch you. What happened was, apparently, there's this family of three. Walk, they were on the bus upstairs. I was downstairs next to the door and everyone goes out. What happened was, a pet, one of the parents came down and was literally scolding the driver for no apparent reason. What can I ever speculate with my detective skills is basically one of his children got ditched in the bus stop and uh, the date well, wasn't able to catch him in time and he was abandoned in the bus stop while we were like two bus stops away. That's what I can speculate but I don't really know what happened because he was just screaming like an idiot. Talk not to my family. I said to me to not care about it, but I'm still wondering, like, how did that end? I'm just curious. Yeah, my sketchbook spreads have been kind of just scribbles and scribbles. I haven't really got any time to actually draw an illustration, and even if I did, I just did shit. <laughs> You've already got the shit. But it's not like I don't like colouring with my markers, it's just like... Some of my markers are actually dying. And I'm thinking of asking... For... The... Art of Fly markers. The markers I use for my skin tone set. Is that referable? I never actually experienced refilling them in my life. Because they're still working. <laughs> I might have to buy them sooner or later and try it out. But till then, it's still working and it's just amazing. The story is also going well. Like I said, the compiled the comic chapter two has a lot of pages. I want to try and split it into parts. I was thinking of posting the entire thing because like most of it is done. The ending is already on, like already like planned out. It just needs to be drawn. And I actually been redrawing most of the comic pages because they were kind of old. But most of them were recently drawn. Like the fight scene for chapter 2, the first fight scene. It was actually pretty well planned. And uh, the only thing that's necessary is just to do the finishing uh, below where they fight the characters find the plan and they just finish them off. And the ending of that chapter is basically they kind of go, everything is done, they go home. Bye. Happy ever after. Just kidding, that doesn't happen, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Well, the behind the scenes after 
the story the story is actually pretty long uh like these characters i'm drawing here they're after this season and the seasons are already planned <laughs> i plan on myself a lot the outfits are always made in character sheets and they're labeled and uh they either have to be a digital copy or a physical illustration in the sketchbook so I can remember them that's actually what every process has to go through in my sketchbook they always have to be written down their name what they like what they dislike what they what tribe are they in oh and uh, what kind of powers they have and what their role in the story is for the outfits, I had to draw them countless times so I can remember what they look like. Recently, I've been experimenting with some more Eastern style outfits. I've been looking at Pinterest and just looking for some random outfits. I just, just draw some of them. And uh, there's some post studies I do occasionally. And drawing random scenes in my sketchbook kind of helps me keep it out from stuck inside my head which is very helpful like these outfits that you see on screen they're mostly from pinterest while the one that yas was wearing um it wasn't actually from pinterest i just took some random designs and merged them together i've been watching i actually haven't but like one of the sisters has been watching uh, harry potter and uh, I, we were in the same room, so I technically was hearing the entire thing. I was kind of interested, and the clothes are pretty beautiful, let's just say. And the reason why I wanted to add a hat was because it just reminded me of a Harry that Harry Potter films. I don't watch all of them; I just watched a few. But uh, they were like the nice. I was wondering why that show was so popular, but now I know, but like... My love for your car wash doesn't change. If you're wondering why the heck I don't play your car wash video games, it's mostly because the mobile game of Wobble, before I discovered, when I discovered your car wash, that game has already been deleted from the App Store, uh, App Store or Play Store, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to play it. And uh, the Nintendo Switch games, I need a Switch to play them. And last time I checked, uh, I, I don't have enough money to pay all that. So, if I'm able to afford myself a Nintendo Switch or a 3DS, I can, like, get myself a few of the games. I might post them on the channel later on. But till then, that is a pretty long time. But honestly, I still want to play the games because I'm tired of watching them. I just want to play them. Most of the games I want to play is mostly Yoko Watch Jam, Why Why Got Queen Seikatsu, and uh, Yoko Watch 4 and 3. Those are like my top games that I want to play. I played Yoko Watch 2 and my cousin. That's how I got to know the series. I actually like the game. It's because I was a little kid at the time and then uh, I was kind of fascinated by the fact you use these little controllers to move around the character and just walk around and do all that stuff. But I was terrible at fighting back then. My, while playing on the tour, I was trying to assess my gaming skills. I can't say they're perfect because uh, my dodging kind of needs some improvement, but I can like escape through, through the gaps. It's like my te the gap technique, so I do. I just go through the bad gap and just adjust my timing. Then I'm technically okay. I have all my healing items, I'm fine. I'll try another game like Deltrun. It's the made by the same person as Undertale. Battle scheme is a little bit more complicated, but uh, the st like story, the characters, the plot is just beautiful. So I would love to play it on my computer because it's actually free. But Steam, so I might play it later on. 
If you're wondering about the picture I'm drawing, it's just some random scene I did a moment to draw my sketchbook I just drew it here, and I did a background study. Mostly, this picture was mostly most just a background study. <laughs> From Pinterest about some... Noble area or something. But in this picture, it's just a, a gigantic school. Like why academy, but it's a high school. Or oh, why high school? Honestly, my favorite part of Yorokawa's Jam was the season 2 of it. I was waiting so long, the song is so cool. And like, the new characters are so well designed. And uh, I really like the fact that uh, Lime, Ashia, his character was kind of misjudged at first. But in reality, in the end, I kind of feel sorry for him. And Jiba Jiba's backstory is just sad, I don't know why. I cried. Poor Mio. Rest in peace. He died in the rain. I've been trying to like, watch some other stuff besides Yoko I watch a little. Cause, there's been a certain rumor that they might localize Yoko I watch 4. And why Academy? Just a rumor, but if anything comes up on the news of it, I'm definitely gonna be interested. Cause I've been kind of busy with my own stuff lately, and I've been in the zone to just make new stuff and idea. But I'm not bothered to watch anything. Not just here, I watch anything. Like I watch online. I just don't feel like watching. It. I just do my own things. <laughs> Honestly. Look how jam and work how what Shadow Side was just amazing. If you're wondering why, like the original series, it's mostly because the original series basically season 1 and 2 back then when I was a kid. And uh, they weren't available all, so I wasn't really able to see them. I, I mean, season 3, not season 1 and 2. Like, most of the episodes were just season 1 and 2, and I wasn't able to see the rest. Apparently, I found out there was a season 3. I was looking for it everyone and I didn't able to find it. It was English dub. I watched some of them in Japanese and English sub. But I, ca I can't recall most of the episode numbers and all that stuff. The only movie I watched was the second one and the third one. The fourth one was still coming out. And uh, the fifth one came out when I was like 10 or 9. Your College 4 came out when I was. Uh, your College 4, I didn't actually see it at the time I came out because I didn't watch the series for two years after that, and I was so sad. When I came back and rewatched the entire thing, I had a lot to catch up on. Apparently, some of the stuff that happened were actually from other episodes in the original, so. Season 3, I managed to watch it till the very end of it. And then I got to catch up on what you would call the other side in your college jam. Honestly, it was kind of a long watch because there was so much to catch up on. But it was very enjoyable and ridiculous. Seriously. And my whisper literally don't get along. I do not know why. Honestly, he has the he has the right to punch him however he wants. He deserves it. <laughs> That's supposed to be the main part of the series, so actually turned out very well. I like it, but it's just blobs for the tree because I wanted to put a tree there, and uh, I couldn't find the reference for my in my picture, so I just had to do what I have. And uh, I had to pause the recording because I needed to like go and uh, get my laptop charged because it was dying, it had to die right now, doing it. I've been doing a lot of experiments with my digital art lately. Like, for my eye shading, background shading, and uh, some effects that I want to really try. Figured out a way to clip the layer for a layer into a layer folder. It never really worked for me for a long time. I want to try. I figured out why, and I can do it all the time. Anyway. I've been doing a lot of projects lately. I just want to take a break sometimes. And I don't really blame anyone for doing that. So, 
By the way, I forgot to say, but like the previous picture was supposed to be like some sort of sunset. And uh, this new picture, I got this very cute picture from Pinterest. I can't really show it because I have to transfer from my phone to my computer, but I am not able to do that. It's about three carrot, three chibis playing on the beach, or like doing whatever the activities are to do in the beach. I wanted to draw some people like that, but I was too lazy to draw it, and then I had a uh, block and I didn't know what to draw, so I just found this and I drew it. And I thought it was a very good time to actually draw most of their summer outfits here, that I didn't actually draw. <coughs> like, body I'm swimsuit, for example. And, uh, as you can just see some beach outfits. But one thing was going on here, my name is just looking at the Ocean that I didn't actually yet, I sketched it. And Joseph is buried in the sand and enjoying life that life has to offer. And Isaac is just sitting like a boss, honestly. I don't know why, but every time I look at this kid now in the finished illustration, I can't help the fact that he's like his body language and uh his looks are going together like saying like get away from me i just want to sunbathe <laughs> joseph is just like ah the luxury well so he's saying like down the sand that i'm curious because i've never really done that in my life the beach i went to a self end with my cousins it wasn't very comfortable. I'm not talking about the sea, I'm talking about the sand. It was very rocky and you weren't really be able, you weren't able to literally walk normally without your foot literally hurting you. Especially the part near the tide area. It was pretty annoying. Here's me sketching the background. I honestly thought like the background was very difficult to draw, but when I started coloring it, I started realizing how like effective it but how much time that I took doing the final helped. And uh, most of the mistakes actually turned out to become like the most amazing but just a mistake. Such as the trees. The trees I sketched them incorrectly. And I thought it was kind of weird how one of them looked, their leaves look so soggy. And I don't think true pine trees like that are actually healthy, so that's why I was skeptical. However, the clouds, I had to do some trial and error to figure out which shape I had to make them go through because I felt like it was weird that basically they all clumped together in one thing, but later on I started to like them in the end while coloring. Now time for the cleanup. I've also been experimenting on the cleanups. Like the layers I've been using. I recently got into the idea of the tree everyone in a single day in illustrations but in my comic I have to make everything in like what a clean layer and the line art layers have to be like in one layer all the panels in one layer and if it's a lot of panels it can take ages to literally finish and it gives me a headache and I don't do it anymore. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Honestly that's what every person manga artist or comic where it has to really go through depending on the situation and the story drawing it can be very hard as well not only writing it you have to present it in a visual and in an interesting way that the character the audience can get engaged to read it making too many panels when the situation is normal kind of uh, people because the scene is kind of peaceful and average so probably gonna be relaxed most of false movies that house and i've been trying that a lot and it works even though it takes a lot of work but it gets, gets a good result in the end honestly i'd be very happy that everyone's really very cool but i never really cool people like it that much as for people the webtoon people if you're reading it on webtoon uh, I'm planning to post the rest of chapter 1 after posting chapter 2, part 1, because uh, I 
if all be part to post post all of them instead of me working for one I'm really stressed to post the rest so I just uh, I could just post them in one go and when I take my week break after the drink posting another chapter if you don't know I take a week break every time I like want to finish a chapter and post on YouTube and all of that because it gets me to a relaxing mood after drawing that many pages chapter 3 not chapter 3 I mean chapter 1 part 3 I took a very long break after that because the chap actually it was chapter chapter 3 yeah I took a very really long break in between those because things got complicated and uh, the backgrounds also got complicated I kind of got not that I hated it but like I just felt burnt out so I uh, took a break and just animated I thought it was best for me to work anime while I'm tired because I don't know why, but it works for me because I do more frames. I'm tired. I put all my pressure on it, and then I got the work done. Speaking of an animation, I finished the drafting. I just need to clean it up. The cleanup is pretty easy. I just need to figure out what, what which lines I need to choose and which lines I don't. But uh, in total, this five second animation turned out to be 33, 300 and uh, something frames. So it could would take a while. Honestly, I feel like it was a very good idea for me to teach, actually change the lineup color for this beach background. Mostly because like beach is like kind of soft and soft in nature, so if I changed it to brown, it looks more realistic. It just reminded me of some cartoon my other sister used to watch called Lilo and Stitch. But like that anime that anime animation anime sh show was kind of I'm not saying it was all just started like that, but like it, it's still continuing. Like back when like, we're still getting into animation, I oh, didn't know that 180 FPS existed, but that was actually very good. I thought that character was just adorable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these days, since it's based on Hawaii, so of course there's gonna be a lot of beach backgrounds. Like I felt some Lilo and Stitch vibes after that, so. Like, I really liked it. I, like, I really liked it. Actually, I didn't really want to put this floaty around Mariam's waist. Because Mariam's already good at swimming. Like, she's a pro. So, she doesn't really need a floaty. But the picture already has a floaty. I could have just removed it. But if I removed it, look at she's just standing in the ocean doing nothing. So, it will be boring to point the flow might get the attention to people that she really wants to go and swim instead of standing there doing nothing so i just drew the flow either way i also for the glasses the guidelines for the glasses were kind of weird and then when i continue cleaning them up the guy just actually looked like a boss <laughs> the umbrella is still the end of trap colors <laughs> for no reason <laughs> like he's just like Leave me alone. Let me enjoy my sunbathe while I'll destroy you. And even on his shirt, you can see it, it says, I don't care. Legitimate, I don't care. No idea why. <laughs> I just did not to emphasize the fact that he doesn't want anyone to disturb his nap. <gasps> Time to share the background. Hooray. I shared the floor first because Joseph is technically on inside the floor, so I had to share all the shade the floor of him, so I do like that. Trees are my favorite part of shade. I don't know why trees are my favorite part of shade, it's just like a such tree and natural all that stuff. And also the sky and the clouds, they're just beautiful. The hardest thing to actually draw is actually the sea. I found this tutorial on Pinterest Mix uh, like how to actually make water like water. I tried it. I actually turned out very nice, but like it was still hard to figure out. This is me just shading the trees and look how natural they turned out with just black color. You might call these tree that tree over like a dead tree, because honestly it does look like a dead tree, because when palm trees don't get enough nutrients, the roofs the leaves rip up. I think. He's gonna try to add effects to the water. Apparently I you need to add some white, then the shadow. 
and then uh, the shadow in the white part and uh well you have to add some more effects I thought that was better than enough anyway this picture was a very uh, interesting one I done a character sheet remember uh, when I said I was making new characters and character sheets she is one of them she has a transformation called Shikamaru and another appears in like the semi finale over the second season but this is not, not actually gonna spoil anything because she look completely different. This is a redesign, so she's not really gonna look like that. She's just gonna look. She's looking like that later on. Oh, but she's way older than she originally looked, so nothing, nothing to spoiling anything, right? I wanted to draw this like on the computer because I wanted to figure out the color scheme. Because I didn't actually color it in my sketchbook, I just left it as an inked sketchbook. I've been trying to figure out how to make this, this, this transformation more mature like instead of like a child. Because originally she's gonna be like one the same age as the character. This one, the character, the main character, Mariam, is like in her 20s, so it would be common sense for her to actually be taller and more mature than she usually is. She's actually. The first ever character to have wings in the entire series. So, but it's something very new. I feel like everyone doesn't have wings, but like, I wanted to add wings on some characters, but I wasn't able to add them without them me thinking about being childish. This one is based on multitudes of wings I've seen in my life. Like, Midnight Sparkle. I really liked her wings for like the structure, but like the shading was kind of my own taste in it. Does try to figure out how to shade it the entire time. Then must the next thing you're gonna see in the recording. It took forever to figure out how to shade it. So, but I found out how I was I was supposed to do it in the end. She's supposed to be a very bloody murderous psychopathic character. From a uh, coming out of an innocent, like timid character, timid like she's not timid, but like an innocent but harmless person. The color scheme was mostly just pinks, reddish pinks, magentas, any type of muted pink or saturated, less saturated pink you can think of. And. Uh, the eyes, I've been trying to figure out how to do her eye structure lately. When she's a kid, the eyes are more wider because that's the thing, that's why you're supposed to be with kids. And like more bigger. But now when she's an adult, the, eye, the eyes are supposed to get more smaller and narrower. I wanted to amplify it in Shikamaru and Ma. My eyes are still kind of round and even more when they're adults, but the, you can actually tell that they're growing up because of like how they look like. I first thought I was shell shading it, but it didn't really work because I had to add extra effects, even that, and the extra effects didn't really work. It was just a waste of time. I thought of adding a radiant, but it also didn't work. I had to erase it later on. And then I wanted to add a gradient on the entire character, but it didn't work at all. Like, it was just a bunch of trial and error doing all of this. <laughs> Let's just say. I wanted to add some stuff in the background like her spear, her arc, her, her transformation arc. Anyway, speaking of arcs, it's not be a spoiler for like chapter 2, but later on, this is gonna, gonna take a thing from your college or basically they have arcs and medals. But originally, they weren't supposed to have medals and arcs being together in the first place, that didn't actually work. So I fuse them together and they can be used for either purpose. Clearly later on. I should try and add a name here where they really work. I just painted some blood. If you like blood, deal with it. <laughs> anyway. 
thank you for listening to me talking. I hope you just enjoyed seeing me talk about random things. Any other free illustrations that I drew today? Thank you for watching. Bye.